Hey there. What do you want, human? Hey, mister! You got a minute? You Zachariah Manser? You are, aren't you? You're helping out the Merchant Prince, right? I guess. Yeah, what's going on? I don't. My partner died a few days ago. Got sick, just all of a sudden. A lot of folks catching it, but no one cares now because it's only killing refugees. They don't care about us or what's causing it. They don't care that we all seem to be catching it. Sick dead everywhere, everywhere. No remedy or nothing. Only one who seems to care or help is that preacher son. But he can't heal everyone. He's just one fella. Preacher's son healing the sick. Sure enough. Boy's known for performing miracles. I ain't religious. Even less now than my heart, my soul, my love was taken. So I don't know if it's true. Just telling you what I've heard. Miracles? Mystic or medical, zealot or scientist, who holds the key? Who knows? Who knows anything but this? An epidemic spreading among the refugees would have catastrophic effects. Dangerous, bizarre. I, 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 need, I need more information. Symptoms only affecting the refugees, you say? I, I, I don't know. It seems like, but I, I don't. It's, it's why we, all the refugees, not just me, Need your help. We gotta find what's causing this disease and get a cure real quick. No one around here has much and now they're even losing their lives. You gotta help us. I'll see what I can do. Let me go talk to other refugees and see what I can find. Thank you, Mr. Manser. Hey, let me ask you a few questions. Sure. Why not? What do you want to know? You know the man beside you? Of course. He's a friend. How you feeling? Well, I, don't, I don't know. Fine, I guess. All things considered. I don't think I'm sick right now, but I've grown real tired looking after him. Don't sleep so well lately because of it. What's he been up to since he came to knock this? Well, we haven't been here for too long now. But no steady work and no serum. So what he'd do is the odd jobs here and there when he could find them. Same as most of the rest of us. 
We all sleep in here. Hang around the city the rest of the day, that's that's about all of it. Not much else to tell, honestly. Think he could have eaten something that made him sick? Maybe. I don't really know. He's been eating a lot from the community soup, I know that. You haven't? Well, I woulda, but first time I'd gone there. I got in an argument with a religious fellow that runs it. About religious things and such, you know? So, I, I don't come back. Not really welcome. Found other ways to stay fed. What are his symptoms? Mmm, stomach aches real bad. Yeah, he, um, has trouble, you know, holding it in, if you know what I'm saying. The symptoms seem to align with cholera. Worrisome. Might be the start of a terrible outbreak. But could also be foodborne, perhaps, too. Maybe from the community soup so many of them feed themselves from. Contamination, or even poison? Well, it won't be a hard theory to test. Nearly everyone eats the community soup. Good or not, it's free. And free's all most can afford. We need to talk to whoever's making the soup. Thank you. Sure enough. You're welcome. Gonna take him to the preacher's son soon. Here he's been healing folks left and right. Hi. Uh, hi. I, oh, my stomach. Oh, oh, my stomach. I'm trying to figure out what's making everyone sick. Can I grab a blood sample from you? It'd help a lot. Yeah. Uh, if it if it helps find helps find a cure. Take all you want. Ah! Oh. I should be able to use this to see what's making all those people sick. This is a sample of a sick man's blood. Can you analyze it for me? I don't see why not. Unless it's some special sort of unanalyzable plasma of the likes I've never encountered before. Like that sandwich I ate. And like anything I've ever... I digress. Yes, the analysis. I will get right to it. Here we go. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, whoever gave this blood. I cannot imagine the pain he must be in with this level of arsenic. If he doesn't stop eating it, Zachariah, he will die. Tell him that. And give him a decoction of Alia Martis. A great antidote for such poisoning. These people were poisoned. Had to be the community soup. Need to take a sample, run some tests, and find out what's in it. You work here? Yep, I help cook. You eat here too? Yes, of course. But only a little. I have a weak stomach, so I don't eat everything that's offered. Why? I'm sure you've heard about all the refugees getting sick. There's a chance it's coming from your food. Oh, my. I couldn't imagine how. I just take what they give me and cook the dishes how I'm told. That's all. I don't add anything. So the disease must be coming from somewhere else. Who gives you the food? Well, I mean, it all comes from the parish donations given to the preacher's family. Real good people, you know. They can't have anything to do with it. Their son actually heals the sick. So don't go pointing the finger at them, you hear me? It ain't in the food that's making people sick. I'll tell you that. Let's analyze this and end the mystery. Here's a sample of the community soup the refugees are eating. Need to know if it's got arsenic in it. I don't like soup, Zachariah. It makes me sweat when I eat it. Unless it's cold soup. And even then, I don't like it. Never trust a man who eats or makes soup. That's a fact. Maybe you could just put that fact to test with a little science? Actual experimentation on the sample? Fine. Just as I said. And yet another reason to hate soup. It's laced with garbage like arsenic. Who would feed such a dish to the poor, Zachariah? Tell me that. 
This wasn't a disease. This was poisoning. And that soup's the source. And I doubt it's a coincidence that the source of both the soup and the antidote is the preacher's son. would possess you to poison all those refugees. What did they ever do to you to deserve that? Have you ever been adored by people? How generous they can be when you save their lives. When they believe that you healed them, they flocked to my father's temple. Why wouldn't I have done it? Because people died, and a lot are still suffering. You're pathetic. Maybe so. But better to be disgusting than stupid. I knew you'd be coming around sooner or later. So I loaded up with bodyguards. Do what I'm paying you for. Kill him! My father in Noctis. Let me live, and he will pay you all the serum you could ever want. I'm not gonna kill you. Enough people have died already. What you're gonna do is give the antidote to every refugee you made sick, and never go within a block of that community soup again. We clear? Yes, of course. I... Sure, sure. Antidote for everyone, yeah, and, and I, I promise not to do anything like that ever again. How stupid, I swear. I, thank you, thank you! Don't thank me. I already regret not making you pay dearly.
So you, you find a cure yet? I did, except it's an antidote, not a vaccine. You'll find stocks of the plant that will help you heal everyone in the preacher's son's neighborhood. It's all over now. Don't worry. <sighs> Thank you, Mr. Manser. Thank you so very much. You wanted to see me? Yes. I apologize once again for having to play this role in front of you, but the situation was a difficult one, and I could not risk blowing my cover. I understand. You're one of Dandolo's spies, too? No. I work for my people, even if Dandolo was a precious ally. I was in Ophir to plan an escape, but it was not exactly what I wanted to tell you about. I would like to offer you my services. You're also a mercenary? No, I am not interested in Serum, and a Technomancer ally, yes. It is rare for mutants to know someone with your talents. So if you need a hand or any information, you know where to find me. And maybe I will ask for your services once in a while. All right.
can't go through here. 